Hey, what's going on? It's Jeff Carpenter from Ready Light Media. On today's episode of Buff Basics, I'm gonna show you four different ways to use creative gels in the studio. So all the lights that I had gelled today, I had the help from the light mod mainframe system. All it is is it's really just a, a really cool system that allows you to change gels in and out really easily. Uh, you can use the barn doors, you can use it with just the reflector, you can add a suit on there. It's really versatile and it really helped me create a lot of different lighting effects. The first look I created was just a solid color background. And the way I did that was I used a seamless white background and one light with a colored gel. And one thing I was noticing is that the place of my light was really determining the intensity of the, of the color and also uh, the fall off from the light. So the closer my light was to the background, the darker my edges were and the more fall off there was. So what I did to get a really even spread of light and color, I just moved my light further away from the backdrop really to just about over the top of my model. And that was a nice even spread of light. From there, I could change my colors in and out really quickly and get a bunch of different looks really easily. The second setup we had was just a split key light. Uh, in a normal situation where I'm just using a white background, I might use soft boxes uh, to get really nice soft light. But in this situation, I actually kind of wanted to capture the hard shadows and the colored shadows on the background. So what I used, I used the mainframe uh, with the barn doors and I just put colors in, which created a cool, just kind of split lighting on my subject and also created some really cool colored shadows in the background. The third look we went for was kind of an unconventional way to use the gels in the sense that this gel wasn't actually mounted to a light. I wanted to create a you know, glow on my model's face with a high key background similar to the Ziggy Stardust, you know, David Bowie. And what I did with that is I actually tried using the beauty dish because uh, I wanted to use, get that nice, uh, you know, beauty light. But what happened was the light was actually still too soft. So I ended up going back to the mainframe like I used in the previous setup. Uh, to get a harder light, which then allowed me to have a harsher edge kind of illuminated on my model's face. One thing I did run into though is that the further away, like to get this out of frame, the light diffused too much, so then it created a soft edge, which I didn't like. So I had to bring it in really close, which ended up actually being in frame, but as long as there was no overlap between the gel and my model's face, there wasn't an issue, I could just take it out in Photoshop. The final setup today was probably my favorite of all of them. Um, it was just a little more involved, there was more moving parts, more props, it was just a lot of fun to create these images. Um, for my key light, I had a beauty dish, I had a mainframe that was gelled as my rim light, and I had another gelled mainframe that I was shooting through a piece of pegboard that I got at the Home Depot, um, just shooting into the background, creating a kind of cool effect on that. Uh, another thing I did that was a little bit different was I actually took some chapstick and uh, rubbed it on my lens just to create a little bit of a glow on the bottom half of my frame. Uh, it's kind of an old school trick, but I figured I'd try it out and it was, it was actually a lot of fun and it turned out really cool.
So just like the previous setups I had, uh, using the mainframe gel system made it really easy to switch out my colors uh, very quickly. So I was able to switch from a yellow background to a red background in just a matter of seconds, which gave me uh, the ability to change the whole vibe of my images. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see any of my personal work, be sure to follow me on Instagram at ReadyLightMedia. Have a good one.